Hi, thanks for taking a look at Juno Orders. When we first developed Juno Orders, our original concept was just to make quoting really easy. We realized that Salesforce, their native quoting tool was not something that was just user friendly. So we had this concept of creating a really easy to use quote system for Salesforce. And one of the first issues that we encountered was this inability to store multiple addresses under a contact. So the idea is customer has a project they would like you to quote and that project has another address and contact that is different from their own. So how do you add these additional addresses that can be used on the quote for that contact? And so we came up with this idea called contact addresses. So if you look at any contact we allow you to store additional contact addresses, even ones that have nothing to do with that particular uh, contact or their account. So you see you can create as many contact addresses as you want. And this also comes in handy, we realize later, for customers who are coming from other methods like omni-channels such as a shopping cart. Customers may have you drop ship to one of their customers and in that case they're adding another address. And that leads us into our next issue. Once we had the quote thing working really well we thought you know what actually the sales order module that Salesforce natively offers doesn't work the way we think about things working that should just be a smooth flow from an easy to build quote to an easy to manage sales order so what we did was we we built an easy to use quote tool so that you can just quickly create quotes and on these quotes there are line items I mean that's just the way we think about it, it should be easy some of these line items are service items some are products you know maybe their tax shipping discount just really easy simple stuff and then you're gonna turn this into say a sales order we link that right here this one's already been turned into a sales order all of what I'm showing you here really quick is available on junoorders.com you just go to junoorders.com you can see the uh, standard Salesforce version or what I'm showing you here the lightning version um, they're both the same version but they're just different ways of looking at it you know they're laid out differently when you install Juno Orders, it's just one version of Juno Orders that gets installed. But the view is slightly different if you're viewing it through the Salesforce Classic versus the new Salesforce Lightning. We are happen to be showing you Salesforce Lightning here. At any rate, you've created a sales order. And of course now you might have some items on this sales order which you want to create a drop shipment for or a create a purchase order for to get more inventory or maybe you have a supplier that or a, a partner who's going to perform the work for a service that you've been contracted to carry out it, it, you can create purchase orders based on any number of uh, outcomes so we have we built a purchase order module and we just if we were in the sales order and we wanted to click on a purchase order we go right here and you'll see that this is the vendor that you're issuing the purchase order to. It's related to the sales order. We can click back on the sales order. We can go back here to the sales order. If there was a shipment involved, uh, we created a shipment module. So all of these things just kind of flow into each other, um, making the whole system really fluid and easy to use. That's the most important part about it. We just reduced all the number of mouse clicks and, and effort and made traceability really nice. When the whole order is completed, whether it was a um, sales order for a service that was being provided or a series of items that were being shipped, it doesn't matter. At the end of the journey, you're going to uh, create an invoice. Again, we just wanted to make the whole thing really seamless. So basically, once the sales order is done and you're closing it out, you're going to create an invoice. What do you want about what do you want to have happen in a normal environment for that invoice? You want a beautiful PDF uh, email attachment to go out to the customer that says, hey, here's a copy of your invoice, and you can say it's been paid, you don't owe us a dime, here's a copy of the paid invoice, or you have net terms with us, you owe us some money, please pay within 30 days, or what have you. Those, Both of those outcomes are options in the system here. Let's just take a look at it really quick. Again, each one of these items, we do a deep dive video on our website. So you're going to 
uh, preview the PDF and you'd be sending out this invoice uh, to your customer for products or services rendered. And what's really nice about this is we built in a PDF editor and an email templating system so that you can build, we, we, we install the product in your organization with a whole purchase order, invoice, packing slip, uh, all of those different uh, PDF templates. You can modify them, replace the logo, change the layout, doesn't matter. Same with the email templates so that when at the end of this journey when this invoice is getting emailed to the customer it has a nice formatted email that you have put together and as an attachment it has the PDF copy of the invoice. Same thing happens when you send a vendor a purchase order. Nice formatted HTML email, PDF attachment with the details of the purchase order and we go into all the details in terms of modifying those PDF templates and how they all work. Jump on over to JunoOrders.com, take a look at it. You can just Google Juno Orders and you'll be taken right over there. Uh, sorry for the long video, but uh, just wanted to give you the high-level overview. And We look forward to helping you any way we can. Take care.